Hey, in the end, we all know it's about the demo. Seeing is believing. Creating features excites the engineer. But you got to remember, just like feature creep hurts software, feature frenzy on a call can really ruin it and overwhelm people who might be customers. So the first step to sales isn't talking about the features. It's doing a bit of discovery and evaluation before you even do a demo. Through real world examples and aha moments, we'll demonstrate how Jonathan's framework has helped tech companies boost their demo to sale conversion rates by many, many percentage points. It's not about dumbing down the tech. It's about smartening up the presentation and listening to the customer. What I'm learning here with tech companies in Europe and in the US and even in Asia, the companies I've been working with, because they're so brilliant in engineering and technology and product development, it blows my mind how they think through that. Um, it means they speak that language really well, but they don't really speak sales that well. And they, so when they get an appointment, they get so excited. Oh my God, they get excited. And for good reasons, they work really hard. And then they get the meeting and they're like, look, can I just show you all the stuff that we built? Because it's so damn exciting. And they go in and they do demo and they bah, 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 and, they, and the people sitting there politely. Yeah. Yeah. No, nice, nice colors. That looks good. And then, and then they ghost them like a bad date. And then they realize, wow, what happened? They, I thought the demo went well. You know what? We need other products, other features. And I'm like, no, 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 time out, time out. You don't have a problem issue. You don't have a product issue or a feature issue. You, you have a, a process issue around sales. So we, we get start getting more and more involved in the discovery phase of things. Like how do you do a good discovery call? And we boil it down to a template that's like three pages on PowerPoint. But then we infuse it with, I don't know, are you familiar with SPIN, the SPIN framework, SPIN selling framework? SPIN. So SPIN was created roughly 30 years ago. It stands for a situation, problem, implication, and need payoff. And it works really well in tech companies and B2B. And now we use AI basically to say, okay, you know the framework, framework. Now analyze our client's company. And then this is our client company. This is their website. This is their LinkedIn profile. This is who our ICP is, who we're trying to sell to. Develop the right SPIN questions for a discovery call. And then you have the script that's generated by AI, but was prompted by common sense, a spin framework, because AI knows the spin framework. It's been around for a long time. And now our clients basically go, okay, I now know what question to ask when on a discovery call. And then we teach them the discovery calls to discover if there's a fit. <laughs>